Hello everybody. This is Sunday, January 2nd. I hope everybody had a safe um, time off and holiday. Um, before I get started on our subject today, I just wanted to mention something. Um, this comes as a result of me moving way too fast and switching around and my brain not keeping up. Um, if you ever see anything in my community section that doesn't quite seem like it belongs on my wig channel, uh, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually put something on my community section of my homesteading channel, I thought, and it didn't show up, and I thought, ah, what are they doing to me, and I did it again, and come to find out, I was actually signed in as me here, so, uh, please forgive me, um, <laughs> If you ever see something that just doesn't make any sense, that's what happened. Uh, I'll figure it out eventually. You know, just give me a few minutes. I'll, my brain will catch up to what I'm, go, I'm doing. I'm going from here to there and here to there, and I can't remember sometimes who I'm signed in as, so I'm sorry about that. But um, I don't know how I can't stay here too long. I'm standing without my walker, and I don't know. I've stressed my leg a lot the last few days and it's very sore. My foot is actually very sore and I can't figure out why that is. But just too much stress on, on that whole leg, I guess, on the whole limb. Um, everyone is doing their favorite wigs of 2021. Well, I didn't do one of those because, uh, frankly, I only, other than <laughs> The two wigs that I have still available for purchase, my January and 24 BT18, the hand tie January, and uh, the Henry Margu Michelle and 24H18. By the way, check those out in the community section. Bargains on those two, especially the Michelle. Um, besides those, I actually only own two wigs that I currently wear. Well, I have owned three, but the third one I don't pull out a whole lot. Uh, she's kind of, there is a, an emergency wig. <laughs> um, but I only actually own two, and you know that one of my favorites is January in Martini. I have, she has been my go-to wig, and I of course just purchased uh, another, a backup to my hand tied January in a petite January, the, the original January cap in Martini, and uh, was very happy to find out that the petite also fits me just fine. Um, my head shape is such that I can actually make the average uh, size caps work just fine, as well as the petite, apparently, at least in John Renault. Um, so that is one of my other my favorites of 2021, obviously, because I've said it over and over again. My second favorite of 2021 is this lovely girl. This is the Beltress Bonavita in, in Roca Margarita Blonde. Um, yeah, this little baby, she is, I haven't had straight pieces in a long time, and this is just so, it's so wearable. Um, the, she, sorry, when I, when I walk, I, I feel like the old Walter Brennan in the movies. You, you remember how she, he used to have a little hitch in his get along? Well, so do I right now. But, uh, so if you see me limp, it's because I'm limping. Um, this baby is just, just another example of Belle Tress really knocking it out of the park in the last few years with their colors and their styles. Um, thankfully, they re realized that not everyone wants wigs that go down to here. And uh, I mean, I, that's how my hair used to be, even up into my uh, 30s and, and almost into my 40s. But lately, that just kind of bothers me. So um, I, I thought this was just a great style when I saw it and I took a chance on it after watching a couple of reviews. And I'm glad I did because, oh my goodness, I'll, I'll turn around and refresh your memory about Bonavita. Um, nice little angle bob. These side pieces are about 11 inches. And it has a little bit of a bang, which I have swept back. Now she has no permatease, so you have to really work on her to get a little bit of lift, but hey, you can do it. I mean, you see this? 
I clip it back quite a lot. Um, I have it back and I will raise it up and as I as I let the hair drop, spritz, spritz some Pantene air spray through the fibers and then that helps her stay. Um, I love this piece. It's just so, it's such an easy wear. So um, I just have two favorites because that's really the only two I have actually kept. Um, and uh, my third backup that I talked about, I've, I've mentioned before, is my uh, Raquel Walsh Crowd Pleaser in Shaded Cappuccino that my friend Rachel renovated for me. And I have kept her aside um, for, a, you know, she's a throw on. If somebody comes to the door unexpectedly or um, you just don't want to wear the others for some reason. Um, but I don't own anything else except for the two, like I said, I have available for purchase. Um, so look at the community section if you want to see about that. But I did want to talk about something. Uh, this is not really a wig review or even a favorites uh, review or favorites video. Um, I watch a few channels not related to wigs. Um, many are related to, to makeup and whatnot because I still try to learn how to do better and how, what products might work better for skin my age. And... Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about confidence, and uh, there was a there was a um, a story, not related at all to wigs or makeup or anything else really, but it really applies to especially new wig wearers, in my opinion. Um, this creator said that something a, a teenage boy said to her in class in high school changed her life forever, and I thought. Well, what in the world could a teenage boy say that would change your life forever? Because you don't know teenage boys, right? But um, he, he wasn't intended to say anything pithy or unusual or, or uh, lofty. But the way it struck her, um, she got something out of it. So we never know what we're going to say that's going to really have an effect on someone else in a positive way. But um, she was... In a speech class, and you may, if, if I tell a story, you may know who this is if you if you subscribe to her. Um, she was taking a speech class, and I had speech in high school too. Yeah, yikes. Um, but anyway, she they were supposed to do a um, an instructional speech on how to do something, and she was doing something about uh, making her favorite cake or something, and she said she knew this backwards and forwards. She's, she'd made this a hundred times. She got up there. She was so nervous. She thought everybody could see her shaking or something like that. Now, I may be quoting the story not exactly as she told it, but I think you're going to get the message anyway, and she did her whole speech, and she went and sat down. And the boy in the desk next to her leaned over and said, How do you do that? And she said, How do I do what? And he said, Make it seem so easy. How do you just get up there and do that like it's nothing? Um, now, like I said, I'm just paraphrasing what he said. And she said, Are you kidding? She says, I thought I was going to throw up. And he said, Well, it didn't look like it. And she said, that really struck me because she said, if they couldn't tell I was nervous, was I really nervous? And that, to me, sort of embodied how we can be with our confidence in wig wearing. It's kind of like a take on the fake it till you make it. If you, wig wearers often think things look fake when they don't. They, because they have, many of us have had hair loss for so many years, um, and we just, we put on a wig, and it actually has a natural density, but to us, who have been semi-bald for so long, we think it looks insanely fake, but it doesn't. Um, but often you cannot def you can't defer in that in that regard it's hard to defer to someone else's judgment and somewhat someone else's sees in you but even even later there are times when I'll put on a wig that I know I look good in and I've worn a lot with confidence and I'll put it on and it's like I look horrible today nothing looks right nothing looks right I'll put on another one I'm thinking well this doesn't look right either I don't like anything I have and it's just one of those, and, and I think, okay, you wore this before, you look fine in it, you know you look good in it, 
you know, there have been other days you thought you looked great in it. So this must, this is going to pass. This is just a passing, fleeting moment. You're just having a, a little issue today. And I can talk myself out of it because I have more experience wearing wigs. But people who are new to the wig world, who are new to this, let me suggest to you, I've suggested this many times and other people do, even if you're not someone who wears makeup, before you try on a wig, first thing you need to do is put on a little bit of face paint. Not on to put on how much I put on, because I have to put on enough that it shows up on camera. You don't want me coming out here with a bare face. Trust me on that. Um, and I used to, in my early days, uh, when I first started this, I would put on makeup and, and think I'd put on a decent amount, or, and I'd go and look at the video, I'm thinking, it looks like I have nothing on because I didn't know how to apply it properly. Well, put on a little bit of makeup, even if it's just a face uh, evening out face powder, a little bit of mascara, a little blush, a little lip gloss, just the basics before you try on a wig. And don't assess it based on a bathroom mirror, please. Uh, that's, that is like the worst lighting, usually. I would say take it, go outside in natural light, hold a, pic a camera up or your cell phone, and take a picture of yourself, and then look at it on a computer or on your cell phone. Look at the picture. Don't just look at yourself in, in the screen, but actually look at the photograph. And maybe have some time between you take it the time you actually assess it. And do that when you get a wig on and you put a little bit of a little bit of face paint on, just a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot. Or you can do a full face, sure you can. But people who are not used to wearing makeup, I still think it would help if you did a little bit. Because it's just to treat the wig fairly, to put it I mean, we call them her, but you know, they have no feelings. But so it kind of feels strange to say to treat the wig fairly. But really, in all fairness to yourself and the piece, um, gussy up your face a little bit before you try on your wig, okay? Take a picture and then look at the picture. I tell you what, I can think I look horrible in the bathroom mirror, then I can go outside and I can take a selfie and I think, well, that, that looks fine. Whoa, the bathroom mirror, I'm not going to pay attention to that because that actually looks fine. Or I'll take a short video clip and look at it and thinking, that looks fine. <laughs> That's absolutely fine. So, it's a fake it till you make it. So what I'm saying is when you, when you do that and you decide to keep, to keep the wig and you get nervous going out into public with it, make sure you, if you've got lace front, make sure it's all right, that all your other hair is tucked under if you have hair. Make sure it all is fitting right, exactly where it should be. Get just so before you go out. And when you do, make sure you stand up, throw your shoulders back, Lift your chin up a little bit, not nose in the air, but just lift your chin up, have a good posture, and smile. <laughs> just smile. And when people say hello to you, give them a big bright smile and act like you don't even remember you're wearing a wig. And trust me, 99.9% .9 of the time, they're not going to notice. It could be that people who, if you're wearing something totally different than your other hair color or totally different than the cuts you usually wear, uh, and somebody that knows you, they may think, what have you done to your hair? You look different. But out in the public where people don't really know you and don't see you all the time, they probably won't notice. Bolster your own confidence. Fake it till you make it. And, as, and just like this woman thought, she said, well, in, in high school, she thought, well, if I don't come across as nervous, if they don't think, I, they don't see how nervous I am, am I really nervous? If they don't see it, do you see what I'm saying? They're not going to see how nervous you are. If you plaster on that smile, not a fake smile, but give them a real smile, stand up straight, don't lower your head like you're ashamed of, of your hair, because nine, you're prob you probably look pretty good. Wigs are wonderful. 
So that's what I had to say. That's my message for the beginning of 2022 for you. Um, especially the new wig wearers. You know, fake it till you make it. Um, even those of us who've been wearing wigs for years still have those days when we think, ah, I don't know, I don't like any of these pieces. I just, no, no, it's not for me. I don't know. You know, we have our days, but we kind of recognize them for what they are. It's harder to recognize that when you're brand new to wigs and you think it's the wig, you think it makes you look fake and it doesn't look right. Everybody can see that you're wearing uh, fake hair, um, but they really can't, especially if you make yourself look beautiful. Do up your face, put on a decent, a nice top, just just look your, your friendly, beautiful self and they won't notice. So that's my message for today and uh, I don't know when I'll be back again for a while. Um, today it's going to be 61 degrees. It was 70 yesterday. It's going to be 61 today. It's been raining all night. It's going to rain again tonight and we're going to get snow tonight. 61 today, snow tonight and high tomorrow is going to be 38 degrees. So um, it's going to be rather unpleasant to be out here on this porch and my light, the light in my house is usually quite bad and uh, if I had light coming in my bedroom window where I was sitting in my wheelchair, it wouldn't be so bad, but the light this time of year is not as good. So I don't know when I'll, when I'll be back. Um, if I get another wig, I definitely will, but I don't have one in the works at the moment. So anyway, y'all stay, stay safe, stay warm, and uh, let me know if you've ever noticed that that you feel better when you know you look good and then it helps your confidence even if even if you're you have a brand new wig on that a different style than you're used to a different color and you're not sure about it acting like it's the best thing ever even if you don't think so sometimes makes a huge difference huge difference huge take care everybody